How to YouTube and welcome to another episode of The Gunman. So this video here is part 18 already on the restoration of my LH Tirana. So yeah, we're just continuing on from the previous video where we did the um, yeah the removal of the uh, old paint off the boot lid and the right hand quarter panel. The right hand quarter panel had uh, quite some extensive surfaced rust and even some pitted rust over it. So. That one did need some uh, rust treatment, so I did the rust buster on that, which is a phosphoric acid based rust converter, but the boot lid wasn't anywhere near as bad, so like it did have a little bit of a layer of like uh, rust over the top, but I found that it sort of came off with the grinder and the orbital sanders as well, so yeah, I've just been hitting it with 16 grit and then 36 grit on the buff and then 80 grit on the orbital and then priming over the 80 grit, so yeah, the primer I'm using is a quartz branded epoxy zinc rich isocyanate free epoxy primer and I've found it to be much better than the U-Pole stuff which I used previously on the inside of the doors. This is a level of dedication I have to the project. Those bloody birds outside woke me up at like 6 o'clock in the morning. So here I am at 6.30 first thing next morning out here ready to get some fiberglass filler into the worst of these holes. So there is actually an advantage to getting onto it early. So this is, epoxy primer seems to take a, a fair while to actually dry. So it's still kind of sticky as you can see there. See I can still kind of dig into it. So what that means is that if I go and put my body filler on straight onto it now, it's gonna bite right in. It's kind of like putting another coat of primer on when it's sort of uh, just flashed off. So yeah, like I've done some tests, I did that over here um, without even sanding it and it is sticking really well so yeah I do like to do that like on the worst on the deepest I do like to go and get some fiberglass filler into it because it just holds it's stronger it just seems to hold a little bit better so yeah anyway so what do we got here this is some of the stuff again that spray guns direct sent out so car finish automotive they did send it out they want some honest opinions on it so they reckon that they're possibly going to be um, getting this stuff in to replace some of the Evercoat stuff that they had like some some dramas with the suppliers or something like that so um, I haven't done any sanding of this yet I've just been applying it but it does seem to go nice and nice and hard and seem to hold in pretty well so I'm glad that they gave me two big pots of that because originally like when I started on this project I was telling myself, oh, I'm not going to put any fiberglass in the job. Because um, to me, fiberglass was usually just um, instead of welding, you know. But now, um, what I've realized about fiberglass is that any deep spots, like any real deep spots where you're going to have to put lots of body filler, you're actually best off putting fiberglass. So it's not simply just used as um, instead of welding a patch in, just, just put the, the fiberglass in. It is... Um, used for deep spots as well anyway I'm gonna need a fair bit of this here um, you should probably actually give it a stir and you can see some of that resin is sitting on the top they've actually got some body filler there for me to try out as well it's the car finish brand so yeah, I'll try it out, see what I think of it. But this seems to be pretty good too. Like some of the fiberglass fillers that I've used over the years, they get that sticky layer on the top. But um, in saying that, um, it seems to be some of these body fillers are actually getting better, even over the last sort of five or so years. The regulars of the channel will know that I'm actually a big fan of the UV fillers. I need to take some of this to work actually. But yeah, the regulars of the channel will know that I'm a big fan of these um, UV fillers, but I just don't think that this is the right job for it. I, I don't know. Um, and I've been thinking about it. So this stuff doesn't shrink, right? Like it, it won't shrink back. Like um, it's totally different technology than this stuff. But the way I'm seeing it is because this will shrink and that won't shrink, that will actually lead to some kind of a um, funny, and I don't know if it, you could call it a reaction, but like as, as the two packs shrink around it, 
it stays still. So it kind of, in effect, it does kind of shrink, if you know what I mean, but it's a two-pack shrinking. So with this job here, I'm just going to do two-pack the whole way through. I think part of the reason why these UV fillers work so well for what I do at work is because I'm always pretty well, pretty much always working with fully cured two packs. But as I say here, like I'm, you know, I only put that uh, filler on last night, or the primer on last night, the epoxy on last night. So if I was to go and put this on and then dry it straight away, then the epoxy would still be curing while this is not shrinking. So that could lead to some kind of a um yeah uneven you know drying um so i'd rather put this two pack in and it's all kind of two pack that way i don't know maybe i'm wrong it's just that's just the way i was thinking about it anyway yeah i still think like at, at work i never use two pack you know um yeah I, I really i really do i never use two pack it's pretty much everything is that there was one time in the last few months that I used two pack and that was only because I did like a large repair and I didn't really like it. <laughs> it was, I think to be fair, part of it was the sandpaper I used was crap. SIA, like SIA, oh, I reckon that sandpaper is terrible. I never used to wear gloves when I would do body filler work, but I had enough of getting body filler all over my fingers. That's all I'm doing, just whacking it in the deepest spots. I know there's some people out there that could do much better at repairing this boot lid than me, but you know, I'm not here to save the world. I'm just here to save my Tirana. And like one of the main things for me is just to d get all that paint off and treat the metal and just make it so that it's not gonna continue rusting away. I don't mind a bit of body filler in an old car. As some people have said, like, I think most of you guys are actually pretty cool about the way that I'm doing this job and, and totally understand. Um, and yeah, some people are like, mate, these these were two Bob cars back in the day. They were, they were really not worth... I picked this thing up for $800. Like, yeah, in, it was 2004 or something like that. So, yeah, they were really, really not worth much back then. So, I guess my point being that they weren't treated, you know, the best. Yeah, this is this is me having fun. I'm doing exactly what I want to do. Like I wouldn't wouldn't be anywhere else. I don't even want to go to work today. I'd rather spend another whole day on my Tirana, but we've got to pay the bills too, don't we? Yeah, Friday morning. I I kind of nearly did ask the boss yesterday to have Friday off, but no, I'm I'm doing well. Like I'm I'm really I'm doing well on this project and. I don't need, I don't really need to have time off to continue making good progress on it. But as I say, this will have a good strong hold out. And now like all of these holes last night, they were just, um, they were just bogged up and it wasn't even fiberglass filler. And considering that, it kind of didn't last too bad, you know, so this can only be better than last time. I actually did weld them up this time. And I'm using fiberglass filler, which should, you know, have a better hold out. So, as far as I'm concerned, this is going to last the rest of the car's lifetime. Well, it'll last my lifetime anyway. I'd, I would be surprised if it didn't. And this car's going to be looked after a little bit better than what it was last time too. There's a little patch that I put in. You can see it's not perfect, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm okay with that. There's metal back in there again. That's the main thing. All the metal was treated, cleaned right up. You can see there was a few little bits of pitted rust there, but 
Um, again, it did get treated and cleaned up properly. This, this stage doesn't have to be perfect either, it's all going to come out. You get that 40 grit or you get that coarse sandpaper onto this and it, it rips it out in no time. In fact, one thing I'll probably do with that is just a quick orbital over with some 80 grit actually and then reapply a full skim of body filler. But yeah, that whole thing through here, that's going to be big, big skim through the whole boot lid. Most of up here wasn't that bad, to be honest. Most of up there was okay, but where they put that spoiler through there, it was just caked in it. That took a long time to get all that... Um, that paint off there it was like an hour and a half of grinding and that was with 16 grit so um, again just down here just the deep spots you know so there's still a few spots that are quite low here um, skim over those welds as well that was some advice that one of you guys said you know you're best off using some fiberglass filler even over your welds sort of sticks in well But yeah, the whole car is going to get a skim of body filler. Probably more than a skim. <laughs> and let me just go over this too. I need to have a bit of a clean up in this garage too. That's what I'm going to do this morning. Get a bit of filler in here. Reapply. Need be in some of the deep spots and then have a good clean up and then make a plan of what I'm going to do tonight and on the weekend. I do have a battery tray that I'm going to be cleaning up and installing in the battery tray. I bought a new one. I found a new one. Like, I, it's funny because I actually, when I was looking for a battery tray, I couldn't find one. And then I was just randomly talking to someone and telling them, oh, look, you can find... You can find all these parts off the Tirana, and I said LH Tirana rust section, and one of these battery trays came up. Oh, it's gone away. It'll be around somewhere. But yeah, look at all that layer of dust, mate. Need a big clean up in here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get into the clean up, guys. Rightio guys, that's about it for another video. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I hope you did enjoy it, and if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you would like to support this show, as always, be sure to check out the link in the description. You'll be able to go and find yourself some Gunman merchandise, including my favorite, those awesome Gunman Edition spray suits. Anyway, next video, we're going to be getting stuck into the filler work in this uh, right-hand rear door. Until next time, get out there and paint some shit. Gunman out.